This is a video to try and explain why a charged piece of plastic will always attract the water and not repel it. I'm using a small magnet uh, or small magnets to represent the polar molecules as magnets. Electrostatically charged particles behave similarly light poles or charge repel and opposite poles of charge attract. So I'll just explain the various bits here. Right. Small magnet. Marked it with a bit of tape on the uh, north face and a blob to show from above it's on the north face. And there are four other magnets similarly marked. So you know that if it's got a blob of white on it, that is the North Pole. So just to prove that the that it is the North Pole, I'll show it repelling. You can see what happens if you do it too quickly. Bit of a giveaway for what happens later. I'll do it again. I'll approach it, and you can see it's pushing it away. But it turns around and attracts it. It does it to all of them just to show that they're all. I think you can see that that one's the same. I won't bother with the other two. Take my word for it, they are all the same. So, what happens now? Let's put that around there. What happens now if I bring... It's, this is the equivalent of, say, two positive electrostatic charges approaching each other. You'll see they're all aligned up opposite positive and negative, positive and negative, or north and south, north and south. I'll do it in a slightly different order. There we are, that's, that's put them in opposite. And I think you'll see, well, you can always guess what's going to happen. Even though they were in a different order, they've still attracted north to south, north to south. I'll do it a bit more randomly. Right, let's just bring the magnets up. Oh, I'll bring it the other way around this time. So that's got the south pole on, on this one. There they are. I think you can see once again that they always attract. This is again the two uh, south poles repelling now. You can see what happens is it just swivels the other magnet around until the attractive poles are facing each other like that. So you're never going to get two repelling poles uh, repelling each other unless you stop one of the magnets from revolving i.e. like this you've got to put something against it but you can see this as soon as you get the slightest twist on it it whips round and that's what would happen in water so you'll always get attraction